and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. And what do I have for you today? Well, I don't rightly know, but it's in here and it's blue. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's find out together. What is it? <laughs> Took me a minute to get in there. It's a Crafton tea box. And somebody pointed out that I wasn't um, very fair to the craft and tea box on my last unboxing because my anxiety got to me. It was a knitting craft and um, I didn't like the tea because it was very, very strong of roses. I mean, really, really strong. And I was intimidated by the knitting because it really it got my anxiety worked up. So let's hope that this box doesn't stir up my anxiety as much. <laughs> And you're right, I wasn't fair. I wasn't trying to not be fair. The box was great, especially for somebody who isn't afraid of learning to knit, which is, it makes no sense, right? Being afraid to learn to knit. But I'm afraid of failure. That's what I'm afraid of. And um, it was a wonderful box. It just wasn't, it just gave me anxiety. All right, I am going to try it though. Here's what it's looking like on the inside. Always so nicely put together. And man, they go above and beyond with that print uh, out right there. And join our Facebook community and it gives you a QR code and stuff like that. Hmm. All right. I love the blue tissue paper. Well, this looks more interesting to me. Maybe not more interesting to you, but it does look more interesting to me. What is it? We get to make a candle. That's always fun. All right. It says make this scented candle. It's got a little brochure. February 2022. How to fill your cup. Tea done right is a powerful addition to your self-care routine. What do I mean by tea done right? Well, first, treat your cup of tea like it's an experience, not just something to cross off your to-do list. Set aside 10 to 15 minutes for just you away from distractions such as the television or your phone. Next, really take this time to be in the moment and feel the full experience of the tea. Watch the color of the water change as it brews. Inhale the aroma. Feel the warmth of the cup in your hands. Take a nice slow sip and taste all of the notes of your tea. When you do this, you're practicing mindfulness. The practice of mindfulness has been shown to reduce stress and anxiety. You are worth it to set aside that little bit of time for yourself. There is no need to feel guilty in what you could be doing with those few spare minutes. You will be a better mother, wife, friend, sister, or just person in general when you take care of yourself. Sam, owner and founder. And what is our tea? Vinya Bliss Tea. It's a black tea with sugar hearts and rice flour and rape, rape, rapeseed, rapeseed oil. Sounds interesting. Let's just take a little sniffy sniff. I love it. The packaging's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it does. It has little hearts in it. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to brew this one, guys. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, I'm going to try to get this so you can see down in there. Can you see that pink? Those are little hearts. Can you see them? How cool is that? It's an actual little pink. I hope you can see it. I'll get one out and put it in my hand and hopefully you can see it. Don't spill. Put it on this blue because it's like blending in with my hand. Can you see it? I hope you can see that it's a little hard. I'm trying to do it without dropping it. Anyway. Hmm. That smells 
divine. That smells amazing. I'm glad I got this box. I actually canceled it and may have to go and uncancel it. My knee jerk reaction to, oh my gosh, they sent me knitting and I'm scared to death because I can't, I won't be able to do it. And I'm a perfectionist and if I can't do something, I feel like I didn't just fail at, some, you know, being able to do something. I am a failure. I, it's the anxiety, the, um, the fear of not being perfect. Um, and I try, I'm working on that. Um, I'm working on it really hard, especially right now in therapy and things um, that um, ab internal, that advocate voice to advocate for myself instead of saying negative things, trying to say positive things. And I'm working on all those things. That, I just put up the... I just put up the video about that on the emotional well-being box and I'm working on the same thing in therapy, which I don't know how, but that seems to always go. That's proof I babbled too much. I ran my battery dead. Anyways, that's what I was trying to say. The emotional well-being box, it, I'm working on between that and my therapy and they're going hand in hand, you know, together, working on the same thing at the same time. And um, that's pretty cool. And this, you know, the mindfulness and the taking time for myself and and all that 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 can go with it as well and um that smells really yummy and i'm glad they give you enough to brew several several cups of this because i think i'm gonna like that and probably gonna have to reorder it because that really does s smell i wish you could smell it it um to me it has like a cinnamony kind of smell and i love things that are cinnamony i don't know what it is in it uh, it says, if we could capture what love, bliss, warm hugs, and happiness means inside a beverage, this would be it. This beautiful blend is a mix of mellow flavors with a little bit of sweet and a little bit of tang. Dare we say that this is the most divine pick-me-up that you just can't miss. Perfect for any time of the day and any special occasion. Bring water to a boil and steep one to two teaspoons, as per your preference, per cup for two minutes. Can be served hot or iced. Um, when you're using any tea, but specifically like loose teas and things, um, brew the same um, batch of tea that you have, you know, that more than one brew, because subsequent brews cannot tongue tied uh the subsequent brews like the second and third brew tend to be even better than the first brew because it gives it time to like bloom and all that good stuff that tea is supposed to do i learned that on a cruise uh in a tea etiquette kind of thing and it really does work even with your lipton cheek teas um the second brew uh, tends to be a little tastier than the first one so don't throw it out because then you're just wasting so enjoy it more than once. Um, I wouldn't like save it till the next day. I'd brew it right after the first brew. Brew it again. Can't drink too much tea, right? All right. Then that brings us to our kit. Let's read about it. And Squiggly Wiggly just came out with it. This month's craft. Learn how to craft your own scented candle with a burn time of approximately 20 hours. Additional items you'll need are a timer a bowl, a stove top, and oven mitts. The kit contains one soy wax packet, that's four ounces, one glass jar with lid, four ounces. Well, that helps. Um, one fragrance blend, one wax sticker, oh, no, one wax sticker, one wick sticker, one cotton wick, one wooden clothes peg, and one instruction card. So here, and squiggly wigglies are in there. All right, so your clothes pen is connected to your um, wick, so you can find that. And that's gonna help you center your wick in the candle. Squiggly wigglies. Then you have your, uh, your soy wax, and it's like little shavings. Um, so there's four ounces of that, and then they give you a jar to put it in with a lid, and it's supposed to hold all of that, but inside there, so it wouldn't get broken, is some, um, what do you call them, packing peanuts, 
and then your fragrance oil and mine was open but it didn't spill it just got on me a little bit oh that's a nice scent I wonder what the blend is does it say Fra uh, fragrance blend sweet pea and neroli so sweet pea and neroli so put that back in there so that it doesn't get spilled or broken or lost and then it gives you your instruction sheet so yeah we're going to be making that this see guys this this i really like i like this whole box now i want to mm, get it again I probably will go in and i won't have missed anything because i'll go in and re-subscribe right away so i'll get next month's box probably i will all right because it, it wasn't fair like one of my viewers said I wasn't being fair and definitely I wasn't fair in canceling the box before I gave it much of a chance. Uh, just all because I got one craft that I wasn't as excited about. Um, but I do want to try it. I'll probably use my own yarn that I already have. That way, if I can't figure it out, I still can gift that on to someone and it won't look used. I, I think I'm going to try it because I'll either be able to, to figure it out or I won't. And I've already got yarn that's already, you know, partially used. Uh, this month's tea, love in a mug. This beautiful blend made with a combination of black tea, uh, mallow flowers, and sugar hearts is a pure ode to the celebration and good times. Bake, sip, create. These uh, delicious Valentine truffles are perfectly paired with this month's tea. Find the five ingredient recipe here. So they give you a, um, a QR code and give you a recipe so you can make truffles. Alrighty, share the love, come join in our exclusive growing community. So you uh, scan the QR code and go to their Facebook group. All right, guys, uh, what do you think of this month's craft and tea box? I am a fan again. See. I shouldn't let one box that I'm like, hmm, you know, ruin it for me. Because I really like that one. And I can't wait to brew that tea. And I'm actually going to have that this evening. And hopefully I can tell you at the end of this video uh, whether or not it was really as good as it smells. I, I can't imagine it not being good the way that smells. It smells delicious. Um, anyways, let me know. Do you get craft and tea box? If so, um, have you had a month where you were like, I don't like, you know, or, or is that just me? <laughs> um, would you like to get it? Um, do you get a different craft box that you really like? Let's just talk about it. Uh, what's your favorite craft to do? You don't have to get a subscription to, you know, but just tell me what craft you like to do. And please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye guys. I'm going to have me some yummy tea.